tell me about limiting a palate and whether you feel like you're being extra human when you limit a palate and whether sort of limiting, d why do you limit? Well, you, uh, I feel like uh, you limit your palate because you don't really have a choice. I mean, what is there? There's red and blue and green and yellow and black and purple and you know, after a while, after about 12 colors, you've kind of run out. And I think if you can't, to me, uh, there's a certain sense in which if you can't name something in a single word, there is, it isn't quite a thing, if you know what I mean. It, you know, to say purplish green isn't quite the same thing. It's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not my idea of naming a color. And, uh, you know, a, a telephone that looks like a cat or something like this, like a, you know, a furry animal, isn't really a telephone. So, um, yeah, but what about that wine glass with the globe, buddy? <laughs> I mean, aren't you just simplifying so that you can recombine? Well, of course, I mean, of course, because I mean, the, the, because the wonderful thing is that with this tiny palette of colors, with this tiny palette of objects, you can actually reinvent the entire world with by just playing with those few things. And do you think it's a, it's a prerequisite to have fewer things so that you can play well? Well, I think uh, one of the most important things that you do as an artist is deciding what to leave out. All artists have to leave out far more than they ever put in. So it's just a question of the difference between me as an artist and somebody else as an artist is that we've chosen to leave in different things and leave out different things. Mm -hmm. And where do you think, do you think that Spaceship Earth, I mean obviously if it's going somewhere it's some sort of metaphorical trajectory, but do you think, I mean thinking also about um, the simplification of ecosystems, you know, that we're having fewer species as it were to make new ecosystems, do you think that there's a trajectory of our general human artifice that's that way and is that good because if we have control that we can actually do it properly or how do you think? I, I always think I always think that it's we overemphasize our uh, uh, distinction between ourselves and nature. Mm -hmm. We are nature and what we're doing is we are only doing we are natural objects ourselves and we are doing nature's work and we just do it in our own way. We are different because we are conscious of doing it. But other than that we're, I mean, it's it, like obviously we're going to gain control over evolution as long as we don't destroy ourselves in the process, but we will gain control over evolution. This, will not this is not different than evolution, it's just nature taking over the process of evolution through us. Mm. And do you think that natural, let's just call it our natural, um, uh, the trajectory of our nature is towards that we tend to simplify in order to have more art of control over our gardening or the, the, there was there's another fantastic thing that um, uh, but mr fuller said that uh, the only uh, uh, occurrence of uh, entropy in the world is the human mind have your concept which is that you, where you take a lot of different complex things and you reduce them into something that's simpler. And that's what we do, that's our function, and that's why we're here. And um, we're here so that the light from those stars that happened um, a, a hundred billion years ago has, has some place to fall, and it falls on our eyes and we see it.